All right. Unfortunately, guys, I have to uh, edit this in Sony Vegas, um, or maybe I don't edit. I'll just I'll upload it separate. Uh, so the camera crashed. It overheated. I don't know what the hell happened. So what we were doing is I was trying to show you guys like live how different setups wasn't making this work. So the only thing I did since the last video is I added two more short strokes, okay? I want you guys to look at the distance, right? Look at the distance when I go all the way back, right? We, you, could, you could put it one more and you're barely fitting, okay? You got enough for one more. So you guys can see, you might be able to see in there. I don't know, it's hard to see, but there's four, three blues, one black, one steel, okay? And you can see right here, right? So look at it. I want you guys to look at it. Now, same configuration except more short stroke. No, it's just working. It's shooting now. So these blowback units are so different, and I'm going to dedicate one video to it, okay? Explaining, hopefully, to prevent people from buying them unless you know what you're doing, okay? And the problem is when the first ones came out, um, <clears throat> uh, the first ones came out, where, where were we looking at? We're trying to, because I want to see if, uh, alpha, okay. When the first ones came out, I think it was, um, who was it? Was it, uh, Airsoft Masterpiece? I think there's Airsoft Masterpiece. I know Airsoft Masterpiece made one, AIP made one, AKA made one, um, and they were like, they would call them like, you know, uh, light blowback unit, cut blowback unit, all these kind of things. You know, they would, the names were different, but to be honest, they weren't saying like, hey, uh, and we're going to see right here. Okay, it's the typical, unfortunately, a lot of these websites have the typical thing like, hey, installing parts need a pro. Like, you know what I mean? That's normal. But I wish they would have done. I wish they would have been a little bit, you know, I guess it's not on them, but I don't know. I mean, the reality is, is, you know, and that's why I'm making this very forget. We'll have a separate video on it. But these type of blowback units, guys, you have to build them a little bit differently. The timing on them is very unique. Okay, you guys see how it says right here? It says right here, special early air cutoff design, create lighter blowback and save more gas. You can't just put willy-nilly in here. The standard ones, guys, that don't have this cut, you can you can kind of throw anything in there. This, you need a specific setup. And that's why I was, you know, I was pissed the camera died. But, you know, I showed you guys by adding just a couple more short strokes. We're at 100 PSI. Yeah, we're at 100 PSI. You know what I mean? So it, we know that I knew the gun was functioning, but I wanted to demonstrate to you guys how uh, no short stroke caused an issue. Uh, how two was like uh, it was kind of there, but now I put in four. I'm like, oh, okay, we're getting to work. Let's, for the sake of the video, let's put in one more. You can, yeah, you can just this air is coming out of here. I right I want to say for the sake of the video, we're gonna put one more short stroke in there for you guys. We're gonna max it out before I have to mod the slide release, right? Because if you go to a point past the half moon, you have to mod your slide release, which I will anyways. I, I Guys, I think the funny thing is I actually think this is outdated. Like how, you know how hammers no longer come with the uh, the, the pin? This, I think this should be cut off. I, I think it's actually outdated. I don't see any point for it anymore. You know what? We can be funny. You guys want to be... Oh, no. We can't. I would have to go get up and mod it. I don't want to get up and mod it. I want to just shoot for you guys, and then we'll end the video here. And I'm triggered that it freaking... Now I got... I don't want to go put on Vegas. Okay. Uh, let me put it here. It's a little slippery. I got lube everywhere. Okay. We'll see if we can even fit four on here. Okay. I'm going to break it up. Okay, look at that. All right, we got five freaking short stroke in here. We'll see how it performs. You guys saw before, it sounds good and looks good, right? So we got five in here now. Remember, this is a special blowback unit, special loading nozzle. Oh boy, that is. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Hey, 
yeah this this is a not this is not connecting at all uh, I need to I'm gonna let it sit I'm gonna have to clean I'm probably gonna have to clean it it's probably contaminated I want to clean I don't know I, I gotta ask my RC friends uh, if 2.2 can handle like a, a contamination that's why the funny thing guys I've been using 243 forever for years and it, it always worked well for me and I think it was just I think it was just past its expiration date to be honest Oh, oh my god, this is right there. Ah, this, I don't know, these plungers are, they need the, the plungers need to be a little bit more, um, the shape needs to be a little bit more different. This is, it's hard to get in here. And it hasn't, you know, it's like this, when it's brand new, it's tough to get in there. It needs a breaking period. But that's why I've been using the X-Acto knife, and you want to be careful, obviously. And you just push the plunger back a little bit. Obviously, don't use a exacto knife, guys. But okay. oh, there we go. Okay, let's see if it works, right, guys? Five short strokes. You guys, notice something? It sounds. Let me put in a couple BBs and then we'll call it a day for you guys. See if it actually feeds. We want to know now. Hey, does it feed? We'll shoot right there. Okay, this racket right here. Let's see. Oh shit, the heating sign again. Really already? All right. In theory, should have enough time, right? It's got this much space to, to load it, okay? I'm gonna shoot. Okay, I have to shoot to the right, guys. You're gonna have to just trust me. Yep, we're fine. <sighs> okay, I don't have time. We're just gonna have to, it's gonna, it's gonna overheat again. Okay. Okay. We out. Okay. We're out. Damn thing's overheating. All right, there you guys go. You see, so it's, I'll have a I'll have a a video just on the blowback unit trying to explain to you guys the basics of it but stop buying this blowback unit unless you know what to do understand that you need to have different setups for it all right see you guys around